These guys might be crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. Now, okay, I've seen these guys. I like guys, to be concerned that contributing to my age factor, I'm going to have a beard and a cane by the time I walk out of this place. And why are you guys mad at Insane Clown Posse? I don't believe any of us have ever met Insane Clown Posse. Okay. We have nothing but respect for Insane Clown Posse. We never met those guys, so I believe when I heard on the radio earlier that you said that we were mad at them. I thought you were. I thought oh, that's why you I came down you here. I think you heard wrong. Uh, so, guys, was that just a ruse to get on the air? I don't know who would have started that one. I think it's probably a ploy to get us uh, basically on this show. That's what I think it was. I see. All right. Yeah. Yeah. To describe a, a Slipknot live show. When we are, you know, five minutes from going on stage, everything changes. You know, we could be in the best moods, we could be in crap, shitty moods or whatever. And when we all get together, it's a blackout. I mean, it's basically, once we step on stage, it becomes one. Being at nine people or, you know, or, or whatever, it's, it's a collective. And we're there for one reason, and that's to destroy. A lot of people are like fucking treat like their music as like a fucking fashion show in their faces and shit and they're all about posing even though it's not I guess what fans call poser music like the glam stuff no but there's fucking a lot of posing going on in heavy metal music you know about what trying to look like something or like or like whatever you know and I know that kind of sounds like a little weird because of what we got going on but the thing is there's a million bands a million people out there and that includes the bands that are on Ozfest or bands in the world or bands that haven't made it yet that would love to show their fucking faces on that stage and we don't even fucking do it. Right. You know? I mean, it's... No one knows who the fuck we are and everyone would love to be out there fucking gloating and having all the attention. We don't give a fuck. Julie, where are you? Julie, where are you? <laughs> I do believe that Slipknot has the most intense fans. It's because they believe in us, and they, they believe they're so involved with what we're doing. Right. It takes so much time to, you know, see every aspect of what we do. They don't just see like the hear the song and like buy the record. I mean, they, they, they know every detail. They know shit about us that like I, I forgot about. You know, you know, it's uh, and they they're the most intense, best fans in the world. Man, they really are. I know a lot of people say that about their fans, but I truly believe it. I've never seen a r more rabid fan base than, than our crowd, and they're amazing. Do you have any other real passions in life outside of music, something that doesn't even have anything to do with it? That that's something that you hold dear. You know, that's a you know I'll get that question a lot, and I don't I don't have any other things I do besides music. Completely, like all that's all I care about. Why do people equal shit, and do all people equal shit? When I went out on tour, I realized how much more that moniker means. You know, stays true. Yeah. You know, with these, you know, there's there's so many you know money hungry, greedy people, especially in like this industry. Everyone has like those type of things like in the in their life that they want to retaliate against. So that's where that phrase comes in. You got those people that you probably feel that way about, and that's why we have that type of phrase because we're the perfect band to like make sure that stands out correctly.